joined me to CV magazine today and it's the month of March and it is raining. What does this indicate? This is global warming. We need to check how we can reduce the global warming, how we can reduce carbon emissions. India is on the forefront of aiming 2070 as the year where we go carbon neutral. But it is not possible in a day or a two or overnight. What we have to do is to make continuous investments, continuous uh, developments, innovations to back it. Now, diesel trucks have been in the market for so many years. We have options for CNG, the latest one being the LNG and electric on the verge. If you see uh, our coverage on the Auto Expo, you have seen various uh, OEMs who have brought hydrogen, who have brought hydrogen with diesel, who have brought LNG, electric and so on. So today the market is very cluttered. Nobody knows what is going to be the future. Nobody knows if electric will take over LNG. But LNG is something where it is close to diesel, uh, giving 25% reduced carbon emissions and the infrastructure is at a lower pace. But LNG promises to deliver the same efficiency as a diesel truck. Today we are in Pune reviewing one of the India's first commercially available Blue Energy Motors LNG truck, the 5528 Plus. LNG tractor. This is a 4x2 variant. Uh, 5528 55 is the tonnage capacity, 55 ton, and 28 resembles 280 horsepower. This engine is sourced from FPT Industrial. Let's start with the front fascia first. What you see is the huge sun visor. There are two LEDs, and this is a quite thick, uh, good quality sun visor. Two wipers and two handles. Any guesses why these handles are? These are for the assistance of the driver where he can step here and clean the wind glass. This is a panoramic huge windscreen. Then we have this retractable uh, hood. There are two uh, hydraulic struts which help the hood to open. We'll show you in a bit. Then this is the three piece bumper. Why three piece? Because maintenance free. If your uh, vehicle goes into any crash or any sort of like that, you can just change one of the portions of the bumper. Then you also have a crank valve which is mandated by the government. Two reflectors just for the night vision so that the vehicles which are oncoming they know where the vehicle ends. Most interestingly is this portion. Here we can see ADAS function in the future. Nothing committed by the company yet but this quite resembles the ADAS feature or the radar system. Now coming to the head, uh, headlights. The LEDs is uh, the LEDs are indicated. These are the DRL. These also develop uh, develop as the indicator. You have low beam and high beam. These are the fog lamps. Again, a conventional setup. These are not LEDs. And you also get a nice protective grill. So, say for example, this truck will be doing more highway runs. So, protection of the entire headlight is utmost necessary. Pebbles, small stones and things like that will protect the entire headlight from getting damaged. This is a good touch by Blue Energy Motors. In the new generation trucks, we have blind spot monitoring, side assistance. These are the technologies which will be adding uh, a lot of cost on the truck itself. But what we have is the conventional setup which is uh, reliable for many of the drivers. We have multiple uh, mirrors which help for the driver to drive in uh, tight spaces. There are a lot of trucks on the market where still the hood is opened by hand and then you have to put a wooden block. Instead, what Blue Energy Motors have done is given two hydraulic struts which are easy to use, functional and it's just one. I'm literally using one hand. This is all fiber. So this makes it very easy to open and close. Now coming on the suspension, you can see these are two coil suspensions. One on this side and the other on the other side. Basic things which a driver checks is the radiator fluid if the level is uh, correct of the coolant then brake oil brake level and the uh, window wipers so this is the radiator where the driver can access you can see a minimum and maximum level which is a clear indicator second is the brake fluid here again two levels are given low and F that is low and H L is for low H is for high 
and then there is a tank here the white color tank what you can guess is it is the wiper fluid and this is how you add it from this you just open it fill it to the top close it so you need not open the hood just for the window wipers a very smart touch from blue energy motors one thing which we not forgot is the air deflectors this is the new design the aerodynamic design of the BEM uh, if you can see there are no sharp edges everything is blunt everything is where the air flow can bypass look at this finishing this extra piece of fiber is to deflect the air so that your uh, average is increased your mileage is increased and so on these are few touches which makes this truck a little bit different from the others coming on to the port side of the truck what you can see is the 5528 planning plus first thing which is on the door second entry of the cabin is a three step piece this has good grips so you don't fall off surprisingly both of the grips are different even of being of the same dimensions a fiber material bumper which also has led turn indicators these are the conventional bulbs again you don't get body color door handles you can adjust these mirrors one of the design elements which we noticed is the rolling down of this line the reason behind it is the clear vision for the driver so that he uh, avoids collision he gets better view and avoids claustrophobic uh, area around it secondly this looks like a glass but this is not this is been covered from the inside it just gives a good design element two sharp lines here which are a part of the aerodynamic design second the rubber is of mrf and so uh, the size is r20 one thing which is which you can't see on other trucks is this huge lng tank this is where the fuel of this truck is the capacity is uh, the operating capacity is around 1000 km if you fill it uh, on the entire range uh, you can get 1000 km which is claimed but we have few uh, seen few cases where the the truck has covered 1400 km secondly this is how you open it this is where the lng is filled up inside the tank this is the uh, vent or return no uh, nozzle which can be cleared this is how you open it you also get locks for the safety of this meters then you have three different meters while filling you have to close all these uh, meters for the safety and these can be adjusted as per the maintenance from blue energy okay. uh, what we have is the uh, lng tank here it has the nominal vol volume of 1000 liters and the operating temperatures uh, varies from minus 196 degrees to minus 50 that huge black thing is the air intake uh, here is the air filter what happens is the reason given uh, the reason behind it is the dust particles when these trucks fly on roads there is a lot of dust accumulated and uh, that is the reason you need to change air filter uh, frequently and that increases the tco of any vehicle that is the reason it is lifted high up in the air wherein the dust particles are uh, avoided as much as possible and the air comes inside the air filter clean air goes inside the fpt industrials engine this is a the engine which you see is the n67 fpt industrial sourced uh, engine it is a six uh, cylinder engine having 6.7 liter natural gas uh, is the fuel uh, ng means uh, it can run on cng as well as lng priority being the lng Uh, the engine is capable of uh, 280 horsepowers producing a torque of 1000 newton meters and has a overall weight of 548 kilos the fpt engine is mated with the 8 speed uh, eton gearbox now this 8 speed has also two crawler gears which help the truck to you know work in very very heavy loads and still be able to crawl on itself Uh, you must have seen many trucks struggling on uh, the incline whereas this truck has the capability of two gears where the vehicle can at least crawl say minimum of 2 km per hour speed now one thing which we noticed is the only safety portion which bm has given is this uh, rod but engine production is needed because these are all 
lightweight materials and easily they can be damaged. This is the front suspension of the 5528. Uh, as you can see, this is the compression. These are the leaf springs. These are four leaves parabolic suspensions. They are wide enough and you also get uh, one uh, damper on each side. These are the air tanks. Pneumatic tanks, these are used for braking as the primary source. Here is the axle, propeller shaft, you have leaf springs across on both sides and a long two piece propeller shaft. These are the indicators which are sourced from Hela. These double up as the LED indicator as well as the reflector so it works both in day and night. And these are the fiber mudguards. These are again three piece so that if there is any damage it can be replaced. These are again running on MRF tires at uh, 295 by 90 R20 is the specification of this tire. Coming on towards the rear of the vehicle, what you can see is the all, ele uh, all electric LED uh, tail lamp of Blue Energy Motor. The fifth wheel coupling is from Ghost. Now since you know all about the 5528, it's time to get behind the wheel and show you the interiors as well as we have come, we are coming up with the drive of the 5528. Inside the cabin of the 5528 Plus and what you get is the refreshed interiors for, for the very first time we are seeing a completely new dashboard, not the conventional uh, designs, a very simple and basic plain dashboard. This is not tilted towards the ergonomic side which we have seen in other OEMs. It is a little bit hard to reach on the controls, but these are controls which uh, are day to day. For example, this is the hazard, this is for the low beam, this is for the high beam, and this is for the extra air on if the customer uh, needs. Second is the interlock of the axle. In case the vehicle is stuck on a muddy patch, the differential itself gives the power to the wheel where the traction is higher so that the truck gets out of the situation. Secondly, one beautiful touch from the motors is the temperature gauge. This is the all AC cabin. Now you get a lot of storage here. This is storage number one, storage number two, and that is not the storage, that is the fuse box. You get a lot of uh, cup holders, two on the door sides, one on the dashboard. Uh, one interesting bit which VM has added is the infotainment. You get aux cable connectivity, you get pen drive connectivity, two speakers in the entire cabin both mounted behind so you get a surround sound kind of feeling. Don't mistake these to be a, a liner, a roof liner, these are actually speakers. On the roof you get the illumination, these are conventional bulbs, these are not LEDs. And it can be turned on if your door is open. You get again a lot of storage here, here you can add your log books, you can add your warranty cards. Apart from the sun visor which is installed on the outside, you also get these sunshades and this can also be opened up and used like this. These are not retractable but these are long enough so that the driver can avoid the excess sunlight. Now on the steering wheel, this is the 4 spoke steering wheel. This is the Blue Energy logo emblem. The horn is pretty basic, we get to start it. Let's give it a try. Quite similar to a diesel, does not feel lag, does not feel a little bit later, spot on. Just switch it on, switch it on and the vehicle cranks up. One of the interesting bit is the steering is tiltable and telescopic as well. Depending upon the driver's need, you can adjust it. You get a lever here on the left hand side. Now let's uh, come on to the MID or the uh, instrument cluster. Here what you see is the RPM, here is the fuel indicator. Here is the MPA that is the mega pascal that is the pressure in the LNG tank. This is how the temperature of engine is currently and these, this is the uh, kilometer per hour speed. Now this MID has multiple functions. Now you can see uh, you have the oil level, battery indicator, odometer. If you press this button you get trip, meter details, speed details. Now since we are in idle uh, the speed is currently zero. Total uh, quantity of LNG 194 liters, trip is 10 kilometers. 
you can also access the main menu which has a lot of details such as engine fault ng capacity ng sensor info accelerator pedal now this is a quite interesting one if you long press this button it gets you into the details for example look at this percentage the more i open the throttle the more percentage it will show now ic is a self check system where if there is any fault in the electrical systems the truck will uh, give a warning on the dashboard itself ic basic info then uh, loom adjust is the entire lcd display where you can adjust the brightness language currently we do not have a, anything apart from english 9 and 10 is the over speed truck run info where in the average speed is noted idle time is noted how much the truck has been on idle for now coming on to the aircon this is how you can set the temperature and the truck will uh, set up the temperature according to the blower speed and all here you can switch it off completely mode is where you can switch it where do you want it if you focus here depending upon the preferences you can change it this is ac on this is where the airflow you need currently i'll just close it because it will have a lot of noise second is this is the defogger this is very useful in rainy seasons one thing which you often miss out is the irvm that is the interior rear view mirror it is quite small for the size of this truck come on p and this is a 55 tonner you can't have a small mirror you also get a huge glass where you can access if uh, there is any theft from you get a big bed this is a day and night cab wherein the driver can sleep in the night and uh, on the day he can uh, drive for longer distances this railing is uh, given for uh, installing curtains and there are also two hooks which are given to mount any of the bags or maybe clothes for that matter you must have noticed we mentioned about the crawler gear this is the c crawler gear total 8 speeds now focusing on help this button helps for sos if the driver is in danger he can just pull it off and uh, the company is been noted another switch is the battery cut off say, say for example if the customer does not need to use the truck for a longer time then he can just uh, disconnect the battery from doing uh, just by clicking it so now we are inside the cabin of the 5528 plus and uh, here we go the traffic the 5528 plus was put to test in peak traffic conditions one fear which i had was rolling back of the trailer because driving a car or a pickup is much easier rather than driving a tractor trailer our co-pilot who is a trainer for BEM had given me few tips where driving it made it easier the clutch is of good quality hence the vehicle did not even stall once been almost 2 to 3 km 
kilometers i am behind the wheel the steering feel is 9 out of 10 because it is so smooth you can actually move the entire truck by just two fingers on the other hand the eton gearbox is a little bit on the stiffer side one of the reason would be since it is just out of production that is the reason it is very new a little bit of wear and tear will make the gear shifts more smoother secondly the brakes brakes are way too much powerful and uh, there is a sense of safety there is no lack of confidence on slopes or any speed breakers as such cabin has dual suspension even the driver seat has the suspension so no shocks are directly felt now this is a steep incline i am in third gear and you can see the rpm is increasing these type of trucks are not meant for speed these type of trucks are for torque so every gear say for example i switched till fifth gear and my speed was 20 still the truck did not knock gear kabhi karu na theek hai matlab hai mera speed so this is a live example now we are on the incline we are on third gear and still without knocking we made it because in any gear torque is what is important on the Upsides and a few downsides. Let's talk about the downsides first. First is the Eton gearbox that has few hard shifts. Maybe that is a little bit on the early early stage because the vehicle has just rolled out from the assembly line. Uh, second drawback would be when you keep the steering in the lowest telescopic position, there are chances where the indicator touches your leg and it shuts off automatically without you your intention of shutting it down since it is a 8 speed eton gearbox i would really suggest that if we have a gear positioning center or maybe some LCD display which shows in which gear you are in that would make it a little bit easier. But almost for uh, 20 20 odd kilometers now I have got a hang of it how to shift it. So no complaints there. Now as we have already mentioned that there are a few similarities between this truck and FAW's G6P. The MIT display also has few languages which are in Chinese, so that is a little bit because our drivers would understand Hindi, English, Marathi, English to a lower side, but at least Hindi or Marathi should be an option for them. On the better side, it is this is a scorching heat in Pune, and now it's almost 36 degrees, and we have got an AC cab, so the tiring of the driver is almost zero. so that is quite comfortable the suspension on the other hand the leaf springs do a marvelous job and the dampers from the merely the steering response is phenomenal if you ever get a chance to drive this truck 
you would never complain that the steering is too hard the suspension from the driver seat is also good full marks to that the windows are quite huge so again there is no claustrophobic or uh, any blind spots as such the mirrors do a great job they are quite huge and useful not just the aerodynamic uh, design aspect of it but also visibility is taken care of if you can see we are in 8th gear it's a downhill and we are at 40 still there is no knocking now there is a steep climb it we'll slowly shifted into 7th let's see if this can go take 7th gear easy no knocking this is in 7th gear we are at 40 km per hour now so the low end torque is phenomenal concludes our review of the 5528 plus i hope you enjoyed your time and you know all the details of the bm new launch thank you for watching do consider subscribing us on all social media handles right say